The Lord has led you into a land flowing with milk and honey, that the law of the Lord may always be on your lips. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Coming together as God's family with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord of mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You intercede for us with your Father, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. <coughs> we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who give constant increase to your church by new offspring, grant that your servants may hold fast in their lives to the sacrament they have received in faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. <coughs> On the day of Pentecost, Peter stood up with the eleven and he addressed the crowd in a loud voice. Men of Israel, listen to what I'm going to say. Jesus the Nazarene was a man commended to you by the miracles and portents and signs that God worked through him when he was among you, as you all know. This man, who was put into your power by the deliberate intention and foreknowledge of God, you took and had crucified by men outside the law. You killed him, but God raised him to life, freeing him from the pangs of Hades, for it was impossible for him to be held in its power, since, as David says of him, I saw the Lord before me always, for with him at my right hand nothing can shake me. So my heart was glad, my tongue cried out with joy. My body too will rest in the hope that you will not abandon my soul to Hades, nor allow your Holy One to experience corruption. You have made known the way of life to me. You will fill me with the gladness through your presence. Brothers, no one can deny that the patriarch David himself is dead and buried. His tomb, his tomb is still with us. But since he was a prophet and knew that God had sworn him an oath to make one of his descendants succeed him on the throne, what he foresaw and spoke about was the resurrection of the Christ. He is the one who was not abandoned to Hades and whose body did not experience corruption. God raised this man Jesus to life, and all of us are witnesses to this. 
now raised to the heights by God's right hand, he has received from the Father the Holy Spirit who was promised. And what you see and hear is the outpouring of that Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Preserve me, Lord, I take refuge in you. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. I say to the Lord, you are my God. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. It is you yourself who are my prize. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel, who even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord ever in my sight. Since he is at my right hand, I shall stand firm. And so my heart rejoices, my soul is glad. Even my body shall rest in safety. For you will not leave my soul among the dead, nor let your beloved know decay. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, at your right hand, happiness forever. Alleluia, alleluia. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Filled with awe and great joy, the women came quickly away from the tomb and ran to tell the disciples. And there, coming to meet them, was Jesus. Greetings, he said. And the women came up to him and, falling down before him, clasped his feet. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers that they must leave for Galilee. They will see me there. While they were on their way, some of the guard went off into the city to tell the chief priests all that had happened. These held a meeting with the elders, and after some discussion handed a considerable sum of money to the soldiers with these instructions. This is what you must say. His disciples came during the night and stole him away while we were asleep. And should the governor come to hear of this, we undertake to put things right with him ourselves and to see that he does not get into any trouble. The soldiers took the money and carried out their instructions. And to this day, that is the story among the Jews. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept graciously, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he's destroyed our death. By rising, he restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers of the angelic hosts sing together in the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and he gave it to the disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your Church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Ralph our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, forever and
and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Christ, having risen from the dead, dies now no more. Death will no longer have dominion over him. Alleluia.
Let us pray. May the grace of this Paschal Sacrament abound in our minds, we pray, O Lord, and make those you have set on the way of eternal salvation worthy of your gifts, through Christ our Lord. Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.